you guys and welcome to my channel Sunkiss Hilda in the house you know it already this is the number one place to becoming your own boss elevating your brand and business and creating that wonderful life you love that life you love to wake up to every single day okay so today we'll be talking about how to create wealth I will be giving you some of the key foundations and principles that you can apply to your life on a daily basis to help you create wealth so if you're excited to learn more about generating wealth then stick with me in this video and we'll get there together in the meantime DJ you already know what it is drop that theme song honey Right, so I have worked in the financial industry for a couple of years now and part of what I used to do in the banking industry, I, I'm still in the banking industry actually, um, is I was a small business manager and I got to work with CEOs of small businesses and startups and all that fantastic stuff. And part of what I used to do for my own growth is to learn from them and ask them how do they amass the wealth that they have right now and what are some of the foundations and key principles that they applied to becoming successful. And I thought this would be a wonderful video that I can create and talk to you guys and show you some of the habits and behaviors that the wealthy and successful apply to their lives that help them generate wealth and maybe this can help you generate wealth and win at life as well. So the first foundation in simple form is wealthy people surround themselves with the right people. That means having the right connections and relationships that can help them advance in life. Now there is a saying that goes you are the average of the five people that you hang around with the most. So you need to start looking at your circle when you want to build wealth. What are the people that you hang around with? What do they do? Do they build your mind? Do they build your spirit? Do they build you physically? Because all these things are actually things that can help you grow. You need to have the right networks, the right connections, and the right relationships in your life to get ahead in life. Most of the times you'll notice that successful people might not have been the most intelligent people but they knew the right people and by shaking the right hands those people opened the right doors for them so what you want to make sure is you have friends from all walks of life and from all industries do you have a friend in the engineering world do you have a friend in the financial world do you have a friend that's an expert with legal advice and law and you have a friend that knows politics all these wonderful things are great and if you're graduating from school actually you'll notice that you have friends in all these fields try to keep those connections as you grow. Also, if you've made relationships in your careers, um, in your professional careers, you might want to stay in contact with your VPs and your directors and your managers or supervisors and keep those relationships going because maybe your next opportunity could come from them again opening these doors for you. So try to keep the right relationships and connections. All right, so these two foundations go hand in hand and I'll talk about them together. Wealthy people track their finances and also they pay themselves first. What do I mean when I say they track their finances? They're great at knowing what's coming inside of their bank accounts and what's going out. They know exactly what each dollar is doing for them. There is no time you will ask a wealthy person how much they have in an account and they don't know. They are fully aware of how their money is working. And also, they are financially literate. Most people do not know what financial literacy means. This is just your basic skills and knowledge that can help you manage and make better decisions with your money. And part of financial literacy involves having knowledge on what are taxes? How do I pay my taxes? If I am a sole proprietor or if I'm a corporation and I own a business, 
What does that mean for me in terms of taxes? Um, it also involves saving your money and investments and looking at things like capital markets and money markets and how those things work. It also involves credit, <laughs> knowing what credit is, what it's going to do for your life if you get it or if you don't get it. Insurance, how does insurance work? And even things like planning for retirement are things you can learn if you're financially literate. The so great tools to use are budgeting apps for tracking your finances. So if you're a beginner, you could start by maybe just writing something up for yourself as a budget on a piece of paper and then translating that into your budgeting apps. Some of them do come with a subscription fee and some of them are free. So you want to see do some research which are the great budgeting apps that are out there uh, for myself and my boyfriend we like to use YNAB that is Y N A B <laughs> it's simple YNAB it's a bit more of a complicated tool until you get used to it but it is fun and exciting if you're somebody who likes the challenge and adventure of dealing with your finances on a daily basis and just getting in there and playing around with your numbers uh, but there are simpler apps that you can actually use like mint and every dollar and if you keep researching online you'll find a million okay so <laughs> try to get a budgeting app and learn how to budget your money and track your money that is part of the foundations of building wealth now the other thing that I mentioned is wealthy people pay themselves first that means when they receive their money they are saving their money and then when you save a large sum of money, you can then use it to invest in something. You want your money to generate more money for you without you having to work so hard, okay? So if you learn the art of paying yourself first, then you're setting yourself up for success. Paying yourself first does not mean receiving money and then going shopping because when you go shopping, you're actually paying the retailer first, right? You're paying the shoe company first, you're paying the gaming companies first. So don't go shopping for anything. Instead, save your money. money. Now, another foundation that actually rolls off nicely from investing your money and paying yourself first is wealthy people have multiple streams of income they have a lot of sources that are constantly generating money for them each month the problem that we have today is a lot of people have one stream of income and it's usually a nine to five or an 11 to whatever time and if you lose that job that is it you have no finances coming in for the month and that means you have to depend on the government or you have to depend on your friends and family to help you out in the short term what you want to do is set yourself up for success what happens if you lose your job today what happens if your salary or if your wages are cut in half today you need to be able to be financially stable so part of being wealthy is making sure you're finding ways to generate multiple streams of income. And honestly, nowadays with the world of technology and social media, you can even start generating a second income by using platforms such as social media for free. You don't need to even put any startup money to start generating money online. And it's all about research and finding what to do. Most of the times when you're starting a business online, it's about solving a problem and finding a solution to solve that problem, whether it's a service or a product and charging money for it. And that's how you can start earning money. Creatives out there that are generating second, third, fourth incomes are young people like you and I that have just been smart about utilizing technology and social media to make more money. So what you want to do today is find out ways and become proactive in saying, hey, I have one stream of income. What will I do today to make sure that I'm generating income from other sources? It doesn't have to start off by being thousands and thousands of dollars. It can start off by just being, hey, how can I make $10 extra today? That's not coming from my original job. And if you can find ways to make $10, you can always scale that up. 
oh I made ten dollars today how can I make a hundred bucks tomorrow and how can I make a thousand bucks the next day all right so this is a really important and great foundational tip all right so another great foundation is that wealthy people take calculated risks now the secret here the secret sauce is calculated you need to ensure that you're learning from other people in the same field as you or maybe from just reading books and doing more research to see the errors and the mistakes that they made so you don't make the same mistakes yourself because that will cost you time and money and other resources and we don't want that so part of becoming wealthy is being smart in your risk-taking strategies and there's an important thing that is used by most businesses and it is called the risk appetite a risk appetite is to gauge if you want to involve yourself in that business or in that field because of the type of risk that it possesses to your business so it might be a high risk thing to you or a medium risk to you or a low risk thing to you and that is for you to determine depending on your risk appetite and if you find that this is a low risk issue that means your risk appetite can say hey this is a more favorable field for me to get into because it is low risk for me and I have done my calculations and research to make sure that I can be successful in this industry then I'm gonna go for it all right this does not only apply to business it applies to your life as well the people you choose to work with the people you choose to interact with you have to just calculate the risk of who you're getting involved with all right and always always do research on risk appetite it's important that you know this and these are part of the things that wealthy people do risk uh, calculating their risks and making sure that they know their risk appetite in order to be uh, successful and to continue building that wealth now another important foundation is that wealthy people call set Setting goals for yourself is extremely important because it allows you to strategize and create a plan on how to get to where you want to go. Setting a goal, however, does not mean once you've reached that goal, you, you've succeeded and you've accomplished everything in life. No, it means, hey, I'm succeeding in my processes and in my behaviors and my habits that I was able to achieve this particular goal and when you've achieved it you can set another goal it's a continuous process it's never ending right so part of being wealthy is knowing hey what do I value the most in life do I value my time do I value my time with my family is health a part of it is me working 20 hours a, a day worth it what is it that I want out of life what are my values what are my standards what are my principles and knowing all of that will help you start planning your life better there's an element called lifestyle design and part of designing your life is setting goals and knowing exactly what you want out of life and using all those things to get to where you want to be in life so I hope you start taking a step into have a vision, create a vision board. What is it that I want out of life? When you make your vision board, then set your goals, set your target results, set everything that you think is important for you. But above all, tell yourself what you want to achieve and what you want to get out of life, because this can really help you then start to goal set. All right. So another foundational tip is wealthy people know their strengths and they know their weaknesses very well now when they know their strengths they put all their efforts into making sure that they're utilizing these strengths to generate as much progress success and income as they can however in areas where they lack or they're not particularly strong at they can delegate those tasks to people who are more of experts in that task or they can pay someone to do things that they're not necessarily good at and this is great to know because now you can focus on the things that you're extremely good at in life and always make sure remember we talked about building relationships in the beginning now you go back to those relationships and leverage on the skill set of those people so that they can help you in areas you don't know. Sometimes you might have to pay people and sometimes people are willing to do things for you for free. 
Regardless, it is about knowing what you're good at, focusing on that, and then allowing people who have expertise in their fields to help you in areas that you're not so good at. So another great foundation is that wealthy people take full accountability and responsibility for everything that happens in their lives. They don't blame people for their failures. They don't blame people for what's going on in the world. They try to find a way in which they can play a part to rectifying what's going wrong. And they also learn from their failures. It's falling forward and not falling backwards. People sit out there and they blame the world for their problems. It is the economy. That's why I am in this state. It is my job. I hate it. It doesn't pay me. That's why I am in this position that I am today. It is the government. It is everybody. The world is evil and the world is mean. Well, you will not get anywhere in life if you're always blaming the world. You need to take the bull by the horns and take control of your life. And that is a great quality about wealthy and successful people. They take ownership of whatever is going wrong, their mistakes, or even things that are not particularly their mistakes, and find ways to keep moving forward and finding successes even in the failures. So if you want to take a step in becoming wealthy, you need to start taking full accountability of your life and everything that happens around you. Now the world can be a mean and evil, even unfair place, but at the same time, it's your attitude and how you react to those uh, negative situations that really make you a winner in the end. All right, the final foundation is that wealthy people are always continuously learning and growing and widening their horizons in terms of education, wisdom, knowledge. This can come from having a mentor, but I've noticed that not all wealthy people have a mentor and some of them, they just love to travel, to read, to ask questions a lot and that's how they learn and grow and um, it's, it's just like whatever works for you as long as you're building your mind so it's great when you have a mentor in a particular field because you could really learn from them but uh, I know it doesn't work for everyone so you can find uh, all this knowledge by asking questions from people who are experts in the industry right don't be afraid to ask Part of becoming successful is asking questions, being slow to speak and quick to listen. And that'll be the Bible verse for the day as well, right? Be slow to speak and quick to listen, people. All right, you guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope some of these tips and principles and foundations are things that you will start implementing today in your lives to make sure that you're becoming successful in your journey to becoming wealthy and developing a mindset that is focused on building and generating wealth. Another important thing is I focused on wealth instead of being rich because there's a difference. If you win the lotto today, you are rich. But does that make you wealthy? Not necessarily, right? So we want you to be wealthy, not just rich, because being rich is part of being wealthy. So you need to have that mindset that allows you to grow and build your own resources, build your own assets and be financially free. All right, you guys, thank you for watching my video. I hope you really learned something today that you can share with your friends and family and anybody else you know that you think might find value in this video. Be sure to drop your comments in the comment section below and let me know some of the key things that you've learned from the wealthy people that you've come around or the things that you're implementing on a daily basis to make sure that you yourself are on your road to success and be sure to subscribe and press that little bell button to get notified of all my future videos until the next one you guys bye for now yeah.